I'm Maya. I'm her father, Jack, and we're going to show you the first stage of our build for our minivan camper. So come on. We built a camper to go inside our 2016 Toyota Sienna minivan. Maya learned how to use power tools for the first time, and it was a great uh, father-daughter project to work on together. We built the frame out of 2x4 and used web straps to uh, tie it into the um, car frame. And there's enough room in the back, I can even insert my bicycle back there. For the top and the cabinets, we used 3 quarter inch plywood and upgraded to this pre-finished maple, which was really great to work with and um, affordable. Um, there's a big piano hinge that we uh, used to uh, connect different pieces of the bed top together. So we wanted to be able to fit in a full-size mattress so that two people could comfortably sleep during our weekend or week-long trips. And it's a tri-fold mattress. We'll give the links below for where we got it. So that we built these extenders so that it, you can shift from bed mode to um, a couch mode. And it all relied on finding these um, very nice collapsible 10-inch um, uh, iron pin uh, plastic uh, feet. We have uh, cabinets, that's our kitchen area, and those extenders also become the cabinet doors and they hook on with magnets. The railing um, that the extenders um, connect to the bed frame onto is another important piece and we'll put links in about where that came from. So one person in the back can uh, pull the latch and um, or pull the strap and slide those other two by four pieces right into those flaps um, that sit up inside the van. It's actually uh, linked into the plastic. Um, this is a little bit overbuilt, I admit, but it was the best way I could do to get the dimensions right to make it fit in to support up in couch mode. And so uh, two people can comfortably sit on the double folded mattress there. Um, uh, also, those uh, covers have a third purpose. You can hook into the railing and make a really nice tabletop for when you're sitting in couch mode. And it requires only one leg, and that's a piece of Velcro that's sort of like holding it in place there. Shout out to our big friend Ethan, who helped me build the cabinets and lent his tools and expertise. Really appreciate him. And we also built it so that we can um, still use the minivan uh, middle seats. So if you take out the covers, you can slide in those middle row of seats and uh, prop those all the way back. And there's just enough room for a person to get in and sit there. Um, for example, when three of us or four or five of us need to go somewhere with Moose the dog. Up front, we took out the console between the front seats and also the armrests. And that's how we fit in a refrigerator that's um, running on DC power. And we connected it to a Jackery, that's a 500 um, watt hour battery that's in the cabinets there. And that'll run for two or three days on the refrigerator, but you can always top it up with this Jackery um, 100 watt solar panel. Our very simple plumbing is a collapsible cutting board basin that fits right in between the two cabinets. And you can just uh, use gravity and uh, have a little water dispenser to wash your hands or brush your teeth. Nothing super sophisticated here. We'll do cooking outside of the van using a little metal collapsible table that's easy to set up with a butane stove. I customized brackets to attach the cabinet into the bolts right behind the driver's seat and the passenger's seat. Now I went and got some 5-inch uh, corner brackets, had to drill the hole to widen them for the bolt, had to trim the corners with a hacksaw to make them fit, had to bend them in my vise, and then I used the bolts from the back of the seats to tie these directly into the cabinets. Had to ratchet those down and screw those in. This is a pretty good solution, but I needed more stability up top. So I used a piece of scrap wood and a zip tie to attach it to the handles on the minivan. And I thought that was a great solution until sitting inside the minivan, I realized I couldn't get out. The handle didn't work and I had to reach beyond it for the special button to open the door. So it works, but it's not a great safety solution. I need to come up with a better design so that people can get out in a hurry if they don't notice that button. A second challenge was to get the two separate cabinets perfectly lined up 
and I may redesign this by having both of them sit on one base rather than two separate bases. My daughter introduced me to SketchUp, a free 3D modeling tool, so you can see all of our plans for the um, uh, minivan camper and download them for free from jackbikes.org. This is the um, orbit tool to spin around in 3D. You can also shift over to the pan tool to just pan back and forth. And also to get measurements, go click on the tape measure tool and just click from one end to another. And this one here, for example, is two feet long. We're freely sharing our plans to show our appreciation for everyone who shared their designs on YouTube. We'll include links to the most influential designs on our website. You can also follow along in our next steps about ventilation, shades, awning, and maybe an outdoor shower. I'm sure we'll make adjustments after we take our first trip this spring, so subscribe if you'd like to follow along.